udon tani. Udon Tani train station. Where I'm gonna start a little walk about to show you guys the lovely town of Udon Tani. Maybe it's a small city. Here you can see the timetable for the train arrivals and departures. Udontani, you see the spelling U D O N T H A N I Udontani on word in this on this sign. Which I just mentioned to you now. Plenty of friendly people about. Okay, so I love train stations, so that's why I thought I'll start off at the train station and a lot of people start off here. So, as you can see, I mentioned the spelling of the name before because it's different on the outside of the train station. It's spelled U D O R N T H A N O. Which is one of these things you get in Thailand that makes it a kind of unique and strange country that uh, there's always these multiple spellings of names when uh, they, they spell the names in English. Yeah, which is very confusing, of course, for people who come here for the first time something to look out for and it's also really strange because not so many Thai people pronounce the letter R but you'll see they put it in uh, different names for places it just seems weird and then they don't pronounce it at all so then you think what's the point also the TH in Tani, Udon Tani, the TH you'll find uh, most Thais don't really pronounce a TH very easily. So they just say T-T-T-Tani, like a T. So again, it's another one of these strange things. It's very common to find letters that they don't pronounce. R and TH, for example, being the best examples. You can see across the road there, there's kind of a big market type building. And also here, behind this 7-Eleven, there's a big market building. 7 is just on the corner of this market complex. And I definitely recommend... I definitely recommend this market complex as a place to get a bite to eat for a fair price and good local food. At the moment, most of the market stalls are closed. I'm not sure why. It's a hot Sunday afternoon. Not that hot, but a bit hot. Maybe things start to open a little bit later. Well, this one's open. Nice Chinese style stuff in there. And food market area on the side here. Wouldn't mind a bite to eat actually, but I'm gonna hold off a little bit. Udon Tani is quite well known, quite famous for its role in the Vietnam War. The Vietnam War from the 1960s into the 70s and the Americans 
at air bases in Thailand and one of them was here in Udon Thani where they flew bombing missions over Vietnam and Laos as well even though the war in Laos was an undeclared war, a secret war and uh, Cambodia too, it might, might be possible they did some runs over Cambodia from here but I'm not sure about that there are a few good books on this subject, I've read a couple so a lot of American servicemen were stationed here during the war and um, after the war when they got a bit older when they were when they retired a lot of them came here and settled down with local women so Udon Thani is uh, it must be the place outside of Bangkok that has the most older retired uh, foreign guys I would say European guys from those days for sure Turning into a little side soy here, a little side street. Soy is a Thai word that basically means a small street. This is an entertainment area in here, a small entertainment area. Not open right now, really. But at night time, it's a good place to get a cold drink. Okay, back out on the street outside Nati Park, the little entertainment area I just showed you. Let's continue along. Speaker truck just went past there. One of the things people don't like about Thailand are these crazy speaker trucks driving around blasting music and people yelling out trying to sell things or trying to market things okay we're turning into another side road here the next street on the right just after Nutty Park as we come away from the train station there's something being built here in the corner maybe it's gonna be another hotel laundry mat so this is another entertainment area place where they wash the clothes for you there few of the retired guys have their choppers, their motorbikes that they've uh, bought over from the west or 
Bought over here. <laughs> Lots of massage places along here as well. Buy a brush if you need one. Need the honker just to make sure people know you're coming. And here's the the main place in the middle of the street here, the Udon Day and Night uh, something I don't know, entertainment complex. And it's a pretty cool place, actually. I've been through Udon a bunch of times, mostly without really stopping, just changing. Um, buses or flying through, changing from airplane to van or bus or something like that to travel onwards. But uh, yeah, I have had a few beers, stopped in for a night a couple times and uh, it's definitely well worth it. It's a, it's a pretty cool place, I have to say. As far as small towns in Thailand or small cities, it's one of the better ones. Plenty of cheap rooms around. Plenty of Western style food. Lots of fun, cold beers. Plenty of entertainment. Uh, an okay number of foreigners if you want to have a chat with someone in your own language. And of course, it's a lot cheaper than Bangkok because everywhere in Thailand outside of Bangkok is cheaper than Bangkok except for Phuket and uh, maybe some places in Pattaya for example but mm, even mostly in Pattaya is cheaper. Okay let's finish up there and I'll walk down the end again and we'll continue from down there. Okay, so I'm back out on the corner of this, I think it's pronounced Sumpan Tamit Road, where I just showed you the nightlife area. And uh, let's have a bit more of a wander. So we're back out on the main street here. As I mentioned, they're banging something on the corner here. And uh, I noticed that. Um, it's not possible to walk from the back of Nati Park entertainment area directly onto uh, the road I just came out of there. It was possible last time I came here. And uh, maybe, I don't know, maybe it will be possible again once they finish, finish um, banging up that, whatever they're banging up there. And maybe you can get around the back way again, who knows. Who knows? Time will tell. We all will see. But for now, let's wander down this way. On the other side of the big road there. And you see on the street there's uh, some backpackers and some cheap rooms. And uh, not bad, I can say, not bad. Also, this road leads to the back, um, the bus station. So, let's head through here to the bus station and have a look. Pet house. No pets allowed. Is it hostel there? Was it RIA? 
not CIA. Okay, yeah, in the past they had a bunch of CIA and similar types hanging around, supporting the American war effort during the Vietnam War days. Go. Coming around in the back way of the bus station. Some cheap apartments there. Yeah, when I show these kinds of walking tours, I hope they, they can help people come through for the first time. <laughs> Such a tidy country. Well, okay, maybe not, but tidy is not what people come to Thailand for. New food places here and into the back of the bus station here. So we're right up in the top of the northeast of Thailand in Isan here. Another one of those words that Thais spell in, uh, in English in many different ways, many variations, but yeah. I-S-A-N, I-S-S-A-N, E-S-A-N, E-S-S-A-N, many variations, probably other ones as well. Oh yeah, some with an R, I'm sure, as well. From here you can get buses to Bangkok, you can get buses to different parts of this region, of the Isan region, some vans, vans to, oh, I think there's a van to the border for sure, the border of Laos, and to other places that are not more than a couple hours away. Vans are a bit quicker, but they cost a bit more. Slide on through here. And an oasis of aircon. But I would not stop in there for a break. I'm gonna push on through back out to the main road there. Let's make a run for it. There's the big shopping mall in the center of Udantani, the central plaza, Udantani Central Plaza. Right smack in the heart of the city here. So you can get all your mod cons in air conditioned luxury. train stations back down that road. So we just did a little side loop there. Okay, we're gonna head down a bit and check out some other stuff. See what we come up with. So I'm still heading down the same direction here. What I'm actually doing is trying to walk walk a bit more than about one kilometer down this way from uh, where we left the bus station and just have a little look at a couple other things. But this is a nice intersection, I think quite interesting. So we'll just continue on along a bit further down here, same direction. And you might have noticed in the middle of the traffic circle there, there's a, a, a big kind of a kind of a royal family type picture thing. 
um, which you see these a lot in Thailand. It's one of the things that makes Thailand different from other places. Okay, they're improving the footpath here. That's nice. All right, let's continue on along. Okay, so I just followed the same road along until I came to the end of that road, which was just down there. And then I took a right and came down here. And I want to show you guys the city pillar shrine of Udon Thani. So let's swing around this way. This is also where the government buildings are in Udon Thani, as you can see, these kind of nice Thai style government type buildings that you see over here and this is the actual city pillar shrine so the city pillar is uh, the place where they found the city you see this in a, in a whole bunch of Thai cities that had these city pillar shrines. That is the city pillar. Let's head down here and head through the other side of this area. Looks like a big parking lot. On the map it shows it as a park. The paved paradise. Okay, not really paradise, but okay, there's some grass over there. I guess somehow it's a park and we're gonna see if we can take a shortcut through here hopefully there's an open gate there's a closed gate there I might have to climb a bloody fence see how we go notice the barricades they love to put these little barricades everywhere look it's you here as well, I think. Okay, this is actually open. Great. If it had been blocked over on this side, I wouldn't have been surprised. But that's the funny thing. You go to places and they've got barricades to kind of channel you into a certain direction, usually walking around a long way further than you need to to get into some area. And then it doesn't really seem to make sense and then you come back to the same place a week later and they've moved all the barricades to make it that you have to channel around through a different direction and it just goes on and on it's like it's a game they make like a little maze that you have to find the way through i guess it seems to be there's too many security guards in thailand Hello! <laughs> uh, and there's lots of people like that in Thailand. People who want to get something from you. People who want to get your attention. Try to call you over for whatever strange reason. Anyway, it's one of those things. But we're gonna keep on going, hopefully. Hopefully, uh, New friend does not catch up to us. Let's cross over here. And... On the next block, just at the end of this street, there's a real park. And 
in my opinion, it's the nicest park in Udon Thani. It kind of reminds me of a few other parks I've seen in the center of small cities or big towns in Thailand. But um, it's nice. You'll see in a second there's a lake, plenty of grass, and it's landscaped. And it's actually a nice spot. And a lot of people come down here in the evenings. As the sun is going down, that's the time in the tropics when it's a nice time to gather with people when the sun is going down and it starts to cool off a bit because of course in the tropics usually it's blistering hot in the daytime although it's not too bad today I have to say so it's a pretty big lake but uh, yeah, there's a lot of grass as well. Places to hang out. Quite tidy bike track. Look left and right before you step down if you want to live. Nice little bridge there, it goes over to an island. Behind the trees you see there's something looks like a pottery kind of a, a jug or something. That's because some of the oldest signs of civilization in Thailand, probably the oldest that have been found actually in Thailand, come from not far outside Udon Thani. It's a nice place here. I'm gonna walk down this way. Yeah, so there's some archaeological interest to this place as well. I don't think there's like, a, there's not really anything super spectacular, but Depends on your interest, of course. If you have a deep interest in Thailand, then I would definitely say it would be interesting for you to go out there and check out the things that have been found out there at the archaeological site. And another place uh, a bit outside of the city here that's really quite popular, especially with Thai tourists, there's uh, a lake where there's a bunch of, I think some kind of lilies or, I don't know, some kind of floating plants with lovely flowers that cover the surface of the lake. I don't remember what kind of flowers, but that's quite popular with Thai tourists. Not really my cup of tea. I mean, I guess if I was right next to that place, I would stop for a minute and have a look. I'm sure it's quite okay, but hmm, I've seen a few places like that in different places in the world. Those kind of places are nice, but not like on your A-list of places to try to find. Okay, we're heading into Udon Thani International Airport. And as I mentioned earlier, the USA had an airbase. This is where it was in the Vietnam War times. This is where they did a lot of bombing raids over Vietnam, Laos, probably Cambodia as well, I would assume. Maybe if someone knows for sure about that, they could say something in the comments about it. So this is really the place that put Udon Thani on the map, for foreign people at least. 
for Westerners. So I'm gonna have a look in here and show you guys a little bit whatever I can get away with filming. Let's see. I notice there's a bunch of drainage ditches around the outside here. No, no thank you. I'm okay. Oh, okay, I'll come with you then. Thank you. Very nice. You work here? You're security? <laughs> cup and cup. That's very kind. Thank you, thank you. Thank you, my friend. Have a good day. Wow. Okay, let's see if we can get in here. Yes. Here it is. Udon Thani International Airport. It says international. Is it really? I don't know if there are any international flights running out of here at this time. We just have a quick look around, and uh, yeah, just for your orientation. Plenty of nifty old 70s style seats to chill out. Places for snacks and drinks. Departures, gates one to four. Happy arrivals. Toilets for your relief. Send a postcard to your grandma or your mum. Rent a car. This is where you get the ticket for the van service, which goes to the border if you want to go to Laos to the Friendship Bridge and the van parks just out there behind the flag. And information desk here. And that's about it. See you next time. Bye.